we're having a, a terrific campaign. We have built an incredible foundation, a grassroots army that this country has not seen since Ronald Reagan. I'm Jeff Wumpert, I'm the mayor of Effingham. It is a great honor to welcome Heidi Cruz to the Shining Diamond in downstate Illinois. As you know, Mrs. Cruz's husband is the respected and honorable statesman from Texas, Mr. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz. I want to wish Senator Cruz good luck in the current primary race and upcoming presidential election. And I want to thank Mrs. Cruz for being in Effingham today. Thank you. Thank you so much for gathering on this afternoon. We were so blessed by the vision of the cross coming into your town. A uh, great reminder of what this race is all about, of religious liberty, of why we came to this land uh, so many years ago to be able to worship God freely as, as we choose. Um, I want to just spend a couple minutes telling you a little bit about TED, um, a little bit about this campaign and how we win, and then I'd like to spend most of the time greeting each of you and getting to know you. Um, TED and I met about uh, 16 years ago. We've been married 14 and a half. And what I want to convey to you is why I fell in love with TED. Because uh, I know you will all vote, many of you probably have voted. But if you truly fall in love with the candidate that you support, I'm hopeful that you'll go tell your friends and neighbors, your communities, your church, as to why this election matters so much uh, and, and why this is the right person. Uh, next Tuesday is incredibly important. It's incredibly important in this state and in many other states across the country. We have built momentum into Tuesday that should carry us to the nomination, but we need your help in doing that. And so let me give you a little bit about, about Ted. Um, I grew up in California and came to Texas to work on the George W. Bush campaign. George W. Bush campaigned in that first race as a constitutional conservative, a social conservative, a national security conservative. Ted was working on that campaign, and I fell in love with this man about the first week that I met him for three simple few reasons. One, Ted is incredibly principled. He was raised by a man who came from Cuba fighting for freedom who came here with nothing, with $100, washing dishes for 50 cents an hour. He put himself through school, studied math because he couldn't speak English. He learned English by going to movies at night. He started a small business. He reached the American dream. He reached the downside of that, which is when we take risks, we bear the responsibility when we take care of ourselves in the private sector. The company eventually uh, didn't do as well as they'd hoped. He went into marketing and built a second career, built another business. He's now a pastor north of Dallas. Ted's mother was the first in her family to ever go to college. Her parents were factory workers in Delaware. She graduated in 1956 with a degree in math. These are people who have worked hard. This is the story of every American family. Ted was raised on the Constitution and the Bible. Uh, he was inspired by that, not later in life, not political talking points, but at the dining room table as a child. And when I met Ted, I knew that he already knew what he believed because his parents taught him right. The second thing about Ted that I so admired is what incredible courage he has had for Texas in all of his career. He's not just talking about these things on the debate stage. He's had a career of defending our values over and over and over in the courts of law and winning on a national level. He went to Congress and did exactly what he said he would do for Texas. There's a reason why last Tuesday, in a state of 27 million people, one of the very, very biggest so far, he won against the present front runner in this race by a margin of 17 points. It's because the people that know him best know that he's working for them. Not the lobbyists, not the leadership in this party, but working for them. And the third thing that I love about Ted is, in spite of his brilliance, his discipline, his incredible mind, and passion for policy, he is the most thoughtful person that I know. He's a man driven by his Christian faith. He's a wonderful husband, a loving father. And still to this day, the only person that he really, really listens to is his mother. <laughs> so I always tell Texas, if you're wondering about your U.S. Senator, you should know. He still listens to his mom. Whenever we need to get things done, we call me. Um, the second thing that I want to tell you is what Ted will do for this country when he is elected president. The first and most important thing is that he keep our country safe. And we do that by honoring the men and women in our military, by building our military with 
real equipment and training to the greatest military this world has ever seen so that when our enemies even think of threatening us, we get them first when it is in our national security interest. And Reagan used the bully pulpit of peace to cause our enemies to stand down before we went to war. The largest war we ever fought in the 1980s was going to war with Grenada and we won. We need to return to a period where we're not perpetually at war for other people's interests, but we keep your interests in mind first. The second thing we must do, and so important, right up there with number one, is we must get this economy back to strong levels of growth. One percent is not good enough. That Great Recession was eight years ago. We need jobs for people coming out of college. We need jobs for people in their mid-40s and in their 50s that may have been laid off and haven't fully gotten back on their feet.